aware of the fact that uh, what you're looking at is the result of having taken a drug, then that's not a real hallucination as far as we're concerned. Well, I, I hold the term hallucination to be an improper word for this. To me, yeah. the term hallucination is being aware of something that does not exist. And uh, this happens with me, scopolamine is a good example of a true hallucinogen. And I remember one time, you were, I think we were together, and this, oh, maybe not, not maybe before we, we got together. Uh, this one person uh, had taken scopolamine in, in the apartment I was living in in Berkeley at the time. And um, he came out of the kitchen and walked across in front of me and into the door that led to where the piano was. And he ran right into the door. And I went over, what, are you okay? Oh yeah, I just was seeing where she was going. And he saw this young lady walking across the room and he was following her to see where she's going. And she went through this door that was not open and he went into the door. Cause and then he backed away and a, a true hallucination. You see something that was not at all there. And later on, uh, he wanted to lie down for a while and maybe catch a little nap. He didn't catch a nap at all. He wanted to go downstairs and follow the cars that are driving by on the street and see what's going on. He did not remember any of this. When he fi did finally sober up enough to, to drive home, uh, I found out that he had driven across the bridge and on the other side of the, of the Bay Bridge uh, where the towers are, he began talking to this fellow riding with him uh, who had been in medical school with him and the fellow hopped into the back seat. And he looked in the back seat and the fellow disappeared. Oy. So what he did, he, he said, I'm gonna turn up the radio a little bit. He said, well, turn up the radio to get the music louder. And the radio was not even on. <laughs> and he realized he's not out of this hallucination thing yet. And he got into San Francisco, parked the car and took a taxi home. And I asked him a couple, three weeks later, how long did this last? When did it finally clean, clear up? He said, how can you tell? <laughs> so, <Yeah>. this, this <laughs> so this to me is the definition of a, halluc of a hallucination. But yeah. the, my psychedelics, you don't have this. You have the, the mm -hmm. imagery, the self-interpretation, the, the ease of, of exploring the things you had forgotten. Well, wait a minute. Um, I, we haven't had that because we usually don't overdose. Yeah. And, uh, uh, no, uh, yeah. a part of uh, the answer to someone else's question is uh, how do you uh, uh, keep uh, alive and healthy when you're doing this kind of research um, is uh, Sasha has a way of, with a, a new compound, he starts at a nanogram if necessary, as far down as you can imagine, um, at a point where it couldn't possibly be active. And then he gradually, over days and weeks and months, works it up uh, so that uh, this way uh, you become pretty quickly aware of uh, neurological complications or, or flattened emotions, uh, anything like that. And if, uh, if you get certain symptoms, either physical or mental, uh, you quit. You don't, it, it doesn't go any further. Um, now, this, this kind of um, a caution uh, keeps, keeps us uh, alive and well. Um, I, I think that um, the, the, what was happening with that young man, was, he was probably overdosed. Um, we, we've just never taken uh, doses that, that large, but I think when you do, uh, you probably have some real hallucinations. Uh, as, as far as uh, the possible reality of what you're experiencing, I think sometimes we do tap into, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, concurrent uh, alternate realities. Mm -hmm. um, I'm quite sure that happens, but there's no proof of it. Yeah. Thank you. Other questions? Is there a woman with a question? Come on, you guys. Okay, uh, gentleman with the blue shirt.
question is about um, the, the rewards and challenges of um, doing this sort of growth experience with, with your partner, with a couple, um, and how sometimes it's, they're not in the same space. And